Um, what uh, what what kind of things inspire you? Like, like what inspires your music? I mean, uh, I know it's, these are like basic questions. Anything that like stimulates the mind, yeah. man. Anything that puts a mind in a higher level of thinking or a lower one. It's it's really 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 cool. It's like, like are you go listen to me, and you go listen to Chief Keef. I have a like I my like intellectually like I speak a lot of crazy shit, but Chief Keef's create creativity with as far as like as far, as far as how slow he puts it, it's like you realize that the mind like bro it's it's, it's hard to say bro like anything that stimulates the mind, anything that can affect the mind in a certain way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Anything that makes you 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 perceive different. Do you do you watch TV at all? Like what what kind of stuff do you watch when you um, watch TV? I don't watch I don't, I, don't, I don't actually watch TV. I watch like. I was like Netflix. I was yeah. like Netflix, and I watched like. Uh, what like do you different. watch on Netflix? Like you watch documentaries. Pretty much like shit. animes and shit. Animes and um, like American Horror Story and like, like when I'm not watching fucking Netflix, <laughs> somebody's over there laughing. When I'm not watching fucking Netflix, I'm pretty much like on Crunchyroll. I fuck with Crunchyroll. I fuck with Kiss Anime. Like when I'm not watching um that, I'm watching like like different animes as far as One Piece, Blue Exorcist, um, Hunter X Hunter. I was obviously like the old Naruto Shippuden, but I finished the, the manga, so like I'm far more ahead than a lot of people. Yeah. Um, I mean, just any, like, just a lot of enemies. Have you ever seen One Punch Man? I One Punch Man, I, I saw it briefly. Everybody told me to get into it, but the the characters, like I I can't fuck with a comical character, and he's far yeah. too comical, and he, like I don't feel like he's a character you can get into. Yeah. So I like I had to fuck with like I had to say I have like it, like no homo, but I have to have some sort of attraction to the main character. Like yeah. I can't. I can't not like want to like fuck with them. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be like a connection. Like yeah, I, I can't find a connection. Something just, underlying. It just I just feel like the, the the whole concept of One Punch Man is just the action. And, yeah. And so if I just feel like the action is really worth. Really yeah, support. honestly, I don't really watch anime like that, but I've seen a couple episodes of One Punch Man, and I'm just like, this is fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's it's hard, but it's just not. It's just not. No, I like yeah. I like an emotional story behind all my shit. Um, kind of going back a little, like, how was your experience at Rolling Loud? Because like I saw. <laughs> Man, Rolling Loud was sick, man. Yeah. I, yo, I want to I wanna give a big shout-out to fucking um, Dopey and T. Uh, Dopey and T is awesome, man. Dopey and T has tutored me through a lot of shit. Um, I've definitely, I definitely watched them. If there's anybody I watched, and I used to, like, yo, I used to hate on Dopey and T. Like, I think everybody did at some point, yeah, you man. can't, like, deny the fact. No, nah, no, nah, but Tarek, Tarek, man, Tarek is a great guy, man. Tarek, yeah, I mean, you can't deny the fact, like, how much they've how much they, done they prosper, for, like, man. The they, they've done a lot like, for the music If it industry. wasn't for Dopey and T, a lot of this A lot of shit would not have come to Miami or not come to a lot of states. Oh, oh, definitely. Wow. Dopey and T, Dopey and T is, is the foundation for a lot of shit right now. 100%. Tarek, man, Tarek is, Tarek is something else man Tarek is a hard fucking worker man regardless of what anybody says about Dopey and T man I, I fucking love Tarek bro Tarek is Tarek, even with such bro Tarek put money on my fucking lawyer bro when I was when I was in jail bro Tarek is a very genuine guy fuck no, what anybody says saying. about Tarek man Tarek altogether is a, is a very nice guy I never got the uh, the the, the, uh, the opportunity or, or <clears throat> yeah, the opportunity to meet uh, Matt um, but I'm sure I'm sure he's a he's a delightful guy. But yeah, I never got to meet him. But Tarek man has left a very 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 good impression on me. He's a he's a phenomenal guy. Yeah, no, I mean honestly, we like we needed you back. Like like we needed <laughs> you back. Like, now nah, for real, you've done a lot. Like I don't know if you realize it, but like you've done a lot to make the South Florida culture like a lot bigger. You know what I'm saying? I think I think like I you bring people out to shows. Like yeah. that's like the most important thing. Cause like if your name's not on the list, the show's not gonna be packed. Yeah, I think. Uh, I mean, I haven't seen what my name can do as of late, so I, I'm going to be quite surprised when I, mean, I do see it. it's going to be fucking 100 times more. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, I mean... It's already fucking incredible. It'll be crazy to see once it finally <clears throat> happens, but, um... I mean, what I was pulling out before was was, was just decent to me. I, I, I knew I, I was... I understand pulling. that. I understand where you're coming from with yeah. it, but I would say, like, you... I mean, because you, you're comparing yourself to, like, bigger people. Yeah, like, bigger if, people. If you, if you think about it in, like, perspective of, like, down here, of, like, who's really bringing people out, it's you and Ski and... Not really. And Denzel, of, pretty and much. Denzel, yeah, Miski, but, Denzel, but Denzel Washington. doesn't really do shows like that. Like y'all were on like every. No, Denzel just does shows in different states, man. He yeah, yeah. I mean, he, it's a little different. It's a little different because yeah. he's like a little different point. You know what I mean? Mm. But um, but yeah, like y'all bring people out. But yeah, um, yeah we but yeah, we needed you, and, and and we needed you, and not having you was was a problem. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm glad. I'm glad you're back, and I'm glad that it's. Then you're gonna be able to start doing shows again, cause like we really Thanks, did, we really, really did need you out down here, cause you you've done a lot, bro. You, whether you want to believe it or not, whether however you feel about it, like you have done a lot for this South Florida I'm culture. Just, I'm just waiting to feel it. 
That's the way you feel, pretty much. I feel you. I feel you, hundred percent. So on that note, like, so the upcoming shows are the the Tampa show, the Miami show. Yeah, I got. Uh, they're they're all in October, man. I I don't know the specific dates of them, but yeah. shout out to my boy Bezzy. Um, Bezzy is the one throwing the Miami show. Um, and then I got these these guys uh, from fucking Tampa Tribe Events that's uh, planning some shit with me. So right now these are the only two shows I know of because I don't want to keep making assumptions that I'm gonna be able to like I, like as of right now I know I can do shows, but I'm just trying to make sure like I'm very timely with it. I'm trying to make sure yeah. I plan them well because I don't want this lady to try and fuck me over, man. Yeah, I feel you. How how was that whole thing like when when you because I, I was I was gonna show up to a couple of your court dates but I, they kept getting like moved and shit. Uh, I mean, like was it like a problem that a bunch of people were showing just, up? Or nah, the, the the people showing up definitely helped because yeah. it showed the court the court system pretty much it showed the you're an influential the court person that, that I'm a very influential person and that I do have a pull. Yeah. So it made them consider my uh, my career as a, a rap artist yeah. or a music a musician or an artist in itself that's amazing and, and take it very uh, uh, not it, it made them not see it just as like brush it much. off yeah like it didn't make them brush like it off another rapper. yeah when they saw the numbers like like man I get like 1.16 million a week man yeah 1.16 million plays a fucking week man like that's insane when they see, like when you see some shit like that that's that's you know what's crazy you know what's crazy too is i remember like one of the first times i met you was at that show that i was throwing that like a bunch of people were on yeah and, like i just threw a bunch of people on there because like it was just like my first show i didn't really know what i was doing and i kind of just wanted to show up yeah yeah and y'all showed up and I remember you had hit me up before, and like honestly, like I feel like that's like one of my biggest mistakes is like not letting y'all. Like, I, sh- I should have just said fucking yes. Yeah, you know no, y'all let, it, y'all let us in. Y'all I, let I us mean, in. yeah, of course, like you know, because I mean, also though at the same time, like not not. I don't want to make it sound weird, but like I was a little scared. I'm like, damn, is this kid gonna hit me right now? <laughs> like, <laughs> no, you know bro. what I'm saying? But I talked to Tay, and I was just like, yo, I wasn't mad at y'all. I was mad at Tay. You know what I'm saying? Because he told y'all something. Yeah. Whatever. Long story short, like. I just should have. I just should have like. Yo, I play fought with your cousin that day. I know. I broke his and finger. You know what's so crazy? You know what's <laughs> I so broke crazy? his fucking it's like, finger. You were my cousin. Like you remind me of my cousin so much. Yeah, bro. bro. He's, like, yeah, bro. He's, so much. Yeah, bro. He's got a fighter spirit, bro. Yeah, yeah. We, like, was, we was throwing hands and shit. Like, like the first time bro, he I broke met his, his fucking bro. I broke yeah. his finger on accident, bro. And like he soldiered that shit. Yeah, out, I know. Bro. I'm telling you, that dude. That dude's crazy. It's funny. <laughs> it's so funny because like I was either thinking like, yo, these kids are gonna like not fuck with each other at all, or they're gonna fuck with each other. Yeah. Exactly. Cause no, I'm, I'm more of a, um, when it comes to anybody that has the same amount of energy as me, I'm more of a, an accepting guy. I don't like to, I only like to challenge out of, out of joy, pretty much out of, out of fun. Yeah, and he was down, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, cause y'all are like the same kind of person. Yeah, you know, he asked me to play fight. <laughs> he was like, he was like, yo, he was like, you, he was like, yo, you want to play fight? I was like, I was like, sure. He was like, yo, I fuck with you. You're the only person that would do that shit. I was like, yeah, that's tight. Yo, shout out to John that's Ryan. That's funny yeah. as fuck. So we just went around slapping each other and shit. But um, yeah. Well, but yeah. I, honestly, I just I don't know. It's just crazy to see like how far you've come. You know what I mean? Cause like that was, bro. I remember the first time. The first time we we talked through DM was like February two thousand fifteen. That's like a yeah. little over a year ago. And yeah. like just you had like two thousand followers. To I mean, I have a, I have a few I have a few favorite videographers, man. I only have like 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 three three to four, man. It's it's pretty much um JMP. Nasaker, you and fucking Forbes, Forbes from UOT. It's, you guys crazy. are the, you guys are the only ones I like. I pay attention to. I don't really don't pay, give a fuck or pay attention to. You know what's else. crazy is like I don't even feel like I'm that great of a videographer. I can't, no, I mean, see like, the thing is, I like anybody that's consistent, and you're by far yeah, consistent. You brand, you've definitely I work branded. Hard. I work hard. Yeah, and you've brand, and you've beyond like branded, like you've branded very, 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 very well, and I like the concept to to what you've done because now you, I mean, I what I've taken from the whole Mars is that it's a higher level of thinking. That's what I've taken from yeah. it. I think like you know what the fuck you're doing and you're gonna preconceive yeah. this plan, this master plan, and I feel like you are going to be great. I feel like you're sleeping on yourself. I feel like you're gonna be great. I, I kind of feel you. I, I mean, I just, I'll, I'm kind of like the same way as you in the sense that like, I don't think I'm shit yet. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, it's gonna come though. I hope it does. I hope I hope one day I could like wake up in the morning and be like, yeah, I'm the shit. Yeah, no, you got But I also feel like that might like lose, like I might lose like a little bit of like, um. I guess hunger maybe for it, cause yeah. like if I think I'm the shit, then like, what am no, I? You never lose it because life will always throw you a fucking obstacle. Yeah. You never realize you, there is no such thing. The only way you lose it is if you're a fucking fool and if you can't, if you can't. I mean, if you can't, if you can't remain consistent, man, you're fucked. Yeah, if you, you give up. Yeah, if you you're fucked, man. That's just all it is. Like, 
And like, I mean, I say that to all my friends, man. I say that to like everybody I fuck with. I was like, it's all about remaining consistent. That's why I really fuck with Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is you know what I mean? Because that nigga is consistent. Like, even with even with dro- dropping material, even with constantly doing shows, he and that nigga, that nigga is consistent. When it comes to consistency, Wi-Fi is definitely consistent. There's a lot. There's a lot more people that are far more consistent than me. I feel like I'm just, as far as conceiving my plans, like I've 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 just always been. Like I don't know when I when I do anything it's just it's from the heart so it's just always it's always different than what everybody else does but I mean just niggas like niggas there's far more like there's people who are far more consistent than me yeah and they're gonna be far there are people who are far more successful than me I'm gonna see it plenty of times yeah but I th- I mean I think I think with you though is like you you're like like everything you say in your songs is like a real feeling like everything yeah. feels real like nothing that you do feels forced you know what i mean yeah like, except cocaine for my breakfast hold that pistol ambidextrous <laughs> yeah. like, i still like even though even maybe if you don't believe what you're saying like you still say it like it you can feel it in the real. core like, yeah. it feels you can feel it in the core it feels it yeah it's just it's just that energy man it's i bring energy to to a track i don't i come on the track and not giving off my persona what up I have a question. What, what, like, like, cause I, I know you, you used to like kind of spit just like straight bars. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, what was the, what led into it? What was the, Papa what Roach. Was the switch? Papa, Papa Roach. Roach. Papa Roach, Three Years Grace, The Fray. They, they played a big fucking, like, bro, they played a big fucking toll. On, like, they took a big toll on, on my mind, man. They, cause like, I was just listening to like all rap, all rap, all rap, all rap, all rap. And I was like, yo, there's something else out here. Like, this, this is far too like, this is far too cliche for me. This is, this is just they just repeat the same shit over and over again. They want to fuck a bitch. Are they talking about how you shouldn't like, like what you shouldn't do? Or, but it's just like, bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I feel what you're saying. Rappers are just talking about the same shit. So I, I went to rock to find like to see if there's different material. And they're talking about heartbreak. They're talking about heroin, heroin addiction. Fucking, I mean, a bunch of crazy shit, man. They're talking about like, bro, like I, I don't know. I fell into like some crazy rock, man. Some crazy, crazy, crazy fucking rock. Like, like, like. Besides them, like, who do you who do you listen to? Like, who inspires you? Because I know, like, you, you're, my, you're my, a big Kurt Cobain fan, right? Yeah, the only person that inspires me, the word inspire, the only person that inspires me is Kurt Cobain. Because I feel like he went out with his mystique. Anybody that can die with their mystique definitely completed what they what they started. Because he died a character. Nobody ever got to see the other side of him. Nobody ever got to see that human side of him. And I definitely want to like conquer that i want to definitely become my persona altogether so i mean he just he he did it right as fuck man um i'm gonna go like just real quick to some twitter questions because like some people were asking questions on twitter or whatever. Yeah, that's right. um what's the name about and how the fuck do you say it is what somebody said I mean. XXX tentacion. yeah what does that what does it mean i know it means something in latin right yeah it means unknown temptation unknown temptation yes Means unknown temptation. That is what my name means. It means temptation, means crazy things, or sexual temptation. But the altogether meaning is unknown temptation. That is the biggest meaning behind it, because all throughout life, everything will be unknown temptation. Life is revolves around choices, pretty much. So you have the tempting one, and then you have the less appealing one. Did um when you when you were in jail, did you did you like? I mean, I don't know how long you how long were you gone for? Only like three months. Three months. Did yeah, you? Yeah, but it felt like forever. Yeah. Did you? I mean, we're. Was there was there a way to like write to you and shit or, or you couldn't even yeah. get mail and shit? Yeah, the only person that really wrote to me, I actually had my dad write me from from fucking. Uh, he was actually being transported to Jamaica, but he he fucking messaged me from the uh, fuck tr- the I forgot what it's deportation. Man, he sent me a fucking uh, a letter, just trying to trying to put me on beat. I mean, what he sent ended up not mattering, but I mean, he just sent me an important letter and then um. I mean, my girl tried to send me a letter, but I ended up telling her not to because I just didn't feel like I was going to be in there that long. And, yeah, yeah. And I just, I was making phone calls, so I was like, fuck a letter. Yeah, much. yeah. But I just didn't disclose, I, I mean, give out as much information to, to get letters as much as... Yeah, yeah, because I mean, I, I was trying to get some type of information just to write you, just to sh- show you, I mean, like, people out here. I mean, I, I know you know, but like... Yeah, you know yeah man, fuck you, man. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. That shit. That shit's rough. I, I can't even imagine. I, I went to jail for fucking like twenty four hours one time. Yeah, it's like, not fun. You probably um, did not enjoy it. Not fun. The dude. The dude under me was like having night terrors and like, 
It was freaking me out. Try being around fucking crackheads 24-7, and then right after you get out of jail, you go to a fucking psych ward. That's not fun. What what, what was that about? I, I actually saw him. Can't say, but just... Can't say. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, you just know I went to a psych ward. <laughs> um, somebody on somebody on Twitter wants to know what's the next tour date and album. Um, the next tour date, uh, as far as planning the tour, I mean, I'm gonna work some shit out. I'm gonna like when I plan the tour is gonna be huge, and I mean huge. Like I'm not doing the tour unless it's fucking huge, cause the one with me and Wi-Fi and Ski and Danny Towers is gonna be at least like it was gonna be decent. We were gonna have a, a decent pull, but they they went through it without me, so. I gotta surpass. I gotta surpass that. I can't. Um, I can't. I can't settle for the level less. under it. Yeah, I can't settle for less. I gotta definitely surpass that. I feel that. So if I do, when I do the tour, it's gonna be great. But um, the release date for for uh, Bad Vibes Forever as of now is October thirty first. At the rate everything is going, hopefully I have it uh, completed before then, so I can give it to everybody on time. But I just gotta get all the uh, production and engineering finished, all the lyrics and uh. And, and concepts are done pretty much. It's just getting the hard part done. Did you did you um did you produce a lot of the stuff on the new? Um, I'm how, going how to I'm going to co produce. I co produce everything. Like I co produce like I mean not not there's a couple songs on there that I did not co produce. Yeah. But I mean like as far as like like all right when I did I spoke to the devil in Miami. I did that sample myself. I yeah. I sampled um the piano. It was his name's Ecor. It's either Al Sane or Ecor. But the, I think the song is Al Sane and his name is Ecor. I sampled that myself. I sampled his keys and uh, did the production myself. I did all of that myself. Um, the co-production on Wing Ring uh, Wing Ridden Angel I did. Uh, I mean Snow. I had somebody engineer for me, but I got that from Kill Station. Um, I mean I, I pick I pick Kill Station out as my muse for that for that tape. Um, I mean a, a lot of shit that I fucked with has all pretty much been co-produced by me or at least like. Like perceived by me, like I've always, I've always been very, 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 very picky, and I feel like that's, I feel like my instrumentals are why I'm so great, cause I don't fuck up on instrumentals. Yeah, yeah, you, you like pick the right ones, and you, you know exactly what you want. I feel like you have like such a clear vision, like such a clear vision. Like I feel like sometimes if it doesn't, if it doesn't fall together, I'm not gonna post it. Yeah. If it doesn't, if it doesn't feel right, I'm not gonna post it. Yeah. And if I do post it, I'm gonna delete it like two seconds after. That's why my fans hate me, cause <clears throat> I don't stick to. Yeah. Did not you did you drop something when you came out? Yeah, it was called. Because uh, I was I looking for it today yeah, and I couldn't find it. It's called it. I Wonder If Bloods Watch Blue, Blue's Clues. Yeah, <laughs> I, I heard it. I heard yeah, it. Yeah, no, nah, it was a song that today. I didn't want to drop, bro. And my my like my friends were forcing me to drop it. So I ended up dropping it for like a day. A day, it touched like 100K and then I deleted it. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, That's so crazy that you could just drop a song like that and get 100K. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't that feel good? It, 100k feels like nothing though, man. I want I mean, to see all million. I mean, though. but just like one day though, you know what nah, I mean? Nah, it still feels like nothing. It still feels like nothing. I don't, I don't. I'm, you don't celebrate I'm your not success. Satisfied. No, I, I celebrate it. I'm very, I'm very much so grateful. I think that's why I've maintained as long as I have, and I, why I've gotten as quick. I mean, gotten as big as I have as quick, and why my fan base is as dedicated. But, I mean, man, I just, I just can't settle for for what I am. Because like I said, it's like being a like a pebble out of a, a fucking mountain of boulders. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. So it's just, it's just all a pyramid scheme, man. I'm trying to go up in the pyramid scheme as we speak. I feel that. Are you allowed to talk about anything with your cases? Are there any not, of the closest case? Are any not, of the my, cases closed? My manager does not want me to talk about it. My mother would kill me. Uh, my lawyer would kill me. Anything involved in my case does not matter as far as as far as anything wise. I, I just know. I'm gonna be fine. The more I, I, I uh, dwell on it, I re yeah. The more I dwell on it, is not gonna attract anything good. But yeah. I'm retaining a lot of positive energy from just the people around me, so I'm gonna be fine. And if I'm not fine, then life. I mean, then fuck it. Life goes on. Yeah. Everybody will cry for like two days, and then they'll move on. Are are you? I mean, I feel like this is a dumb question, but somebody on Twitter asked, so don't don't shoot me for it. But uh, are you and Ski still cool? Uh. Conversation with Ski, I feel like it's definitely been very, 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 very avoided. I'm going to break it down for everybody, and I'm going to start telling everybody this, and this is for all my fans. If you give a fuck about me, pay the fuck attention to what I'm saying. Ski has an ego. Ski has an ego. I have an ego. We have pride. We are men. We have pride. When you come onto another man's Periscope or come onto another man's Twitter and ask another man about another man, how the fuck do you think that sounds like? I've, I've seen like people go... Like, I've seen people go beyond, like, beyond some normal shit to ask me about, like, my partner. And I've seen people, like, do it to him. Like, he used to always tell me, 
uh, like, yo, people always asking me about you. I hate that shit. Da, da, da. Yeah. And then I didn't start feeling it until he got a bit bigger. Yeah. And then when it started to happen to me, I was legitimately like, what the fuck is yeah. going on with these people? I, I just don't get how these kids find it in themselves to go ask another man about another man. But in the, in the, in the, in the, in the short term, Ski has an ego. Ski uh, has uh, been going through his, uh, his own personal problems. Um, I have always tried to help him. Uh, I'm not going to speak on him negatively because that is my brother beyond anything, but uh, he has a very, what's the word? Uh, he, he, he's a very tunnel vision person, man. Yeah. When he has, his, when he has his, his look on something and, and it, he, whether it's right or it's wrong, he's going to go in the direction he wants to go in. So he had to feel what he had to feel on his own. He had to go through all the trouble he's been going through on his own for him to understand what I've, I've warned him about because I'd be going into this career or going into what we've gone into, I've always prepared Ski. I've always, I've always tutored Ski through a lot of shit. I've always told him exactly how he's supposed to operate with a lot of things on a, on a business tip, as a, on a mental tip, on, uh, with everything, man. Um, I mean, that's my brother. That's my brother beyond anything. Nobody needs to keep asking like, like what's going on because nothing is going on. That is literally what it is, nothing. Yeah. Nothing is going on, we are not we're not beefing, but we're not speaking. We're not we're not mad at each other. We are cordial. We stand where we stand. Um, whenever we want to make music, we will fucking make music. If we don't feel like making music, we're not gonna make music. Everybody needs to calm down. It's not that serious. We're we're gonna be straight.